Shion Sensei here. Today I would like to announce that I am throwing my hat into the ring, and my very first platform position will be Karate Lessons for Everyone. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to do that super speed zoom effect. Now, I actually stole this effect or the idea for this effect from the Millennium Falcon taking off into hyperspace. Check this out. So what happens is the Millennium Falcon actually starts with the star streaking first. And then boom, and it's gone, right? So that's sort of how I want to do this effect. Now, if you don't like that look, then fine, you can do something else. But my idea is, is that I take an idea and then I make it my own, right? And that's my own. That's how I want the effect to look. So I have three clips here. I have my final far footage, I have my final close footage, and then I have the whoosh sound effect. So I'm going to take the final far footage and put it uh, down here first, and then the final close footage and put it there next. And then I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here. And you can see that I pick up my hands, I put the thumbs up, right? And then it goes pow, right? In close. So what I want to do is I'm going to use eight frames to do the zoom. So I'm going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I am going to slice it right there. Right click, slice. And then I'm going to just click on that to highlight it. Right click and make it into a composite shot. Click OK. All right, so now I have eight frames here. This is frame one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on frame five, I'm going to actually, um, uh, that's where the zoom part will happen. And then the beginning part will happen here. So I'm going to start here. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add a zoom blur effect, right? And the zoom blur effect doesn't have much going on there. I'm going to actually uh, center it on my face. Uh, but the thing is, the zoom blur effect, I'm just going to crank the strength up to maximum, okay? And then we're going to leave that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to transform, right? So the position and the scale, I'm going to transform those, but it's going to start at one, two, three, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and transform those two things. And then at four, I'm going to 200% scale. See how it's zooming in, and I'm going to move it. And then, and then I'm going to go to frame six, 300%. And again, I'm going to move it. And then 400%, right? And again, I'm going to move. And then last frame, 500%. And again, I want to just move that. Okay, so now when we go back out to the editor timeline, it goes there, and then one, two, three, four, and then it starts one, two, three, four, and pow, there it is, right? Now I could probably slide that over just a little bit, right? Yeah, I would say so because it's sort of off center. Maybe put it to the center. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. So let me go back to the composite shot, and what I'm going to do is just take the position and maybe slide it over just a little bit so that it's sort of like that. Back up, maybe over just a little bit so it's like that. And maybe over just a little bit like that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So I think that, um, you know, now I have a sort of a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pow. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now I just have to add my whoosh sound effect here. And I am good to go. And again, it ends up looking like this. Karate lessons for everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.